guys welcome back today i'm gonna do a what i eat in a day video as you guys know i'm very passionate about nutrition that's why i released the original body by pb guide and more importantly the plant-based 21 day reset i'm not here to talk about that promoter but i'm really passionate about health and i want to kind of share more ways um share more what i eat in a day so that you know if you guys are transitioning into a plant-based diet or just simply looking to incorporate more healthy meals or just simply looking for inspiration for new ways to make yummy things um, that I can provide that for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this of what I eat in a day. Before I hop on in, I do want to say that Clyde has new launches. I love announcing them when they're out. We have launched so many pieces. A big one being this butterfly necklace. This is a uh, one now, of course, already popped off. Not of course, but um, it's this 18 karat plated gold butterfly. It's a really beautiful butterfly. We were getting so many requests for a butterfly um, necklace because a lot of you guys... Not only are butterflies very important to you or special to you, but you guys know they're very special to me. And part a portion of these profits will be going to the Save Our Monarchs Foundation. I've tagged it in on Instagram if you want to go look at the foundation. It's really amazing. They're planting specific kind of plants and flowers to increase the monarch population as they're decreasing. So we will not only release that, which is absolutely beautiful. I'll put a photo on the screen here of that one. We released our best-selling always earrings in a white gold. So if you like wearing silver jewelry, those are a really beautiful option. We also launched the Sweet Love Necklace, which I've been teasing for weeks, which is this really, really beautiful necklace right here. Finally launched. This is the Divine Feminine Necklace, which has been out. This is the Good Luck Charm Necklace that I just said that, we, um, that we're going to be donating a uh, portion of the profits to the Save Our Monarchs Foundation. Here's the Sweet Love Necklace. All the, um, I haven't layered like this, but but they're um, you know adjustable in different lengths on the website. It says the length and how long the adjuster if you want to look into it we also launched these earrings which are so dainty and beautiful these are the prosperity earrings they're a bar um they look really pretty in your main set as a very classy and chic piece but if you have like a few piercings i had three but i think one of them closed up they'd be really pretty like in one of the two holes so let's say you have two piercings you could have a big earring the miracle magnet or you know earrings of your choice and then you can have my, my lipstick is a little bit on the end here um but then you could have you know this in the second one or this in the third one so these are really really beautiful so that's i mean, I think that's everything that launched the good luck charm the prosperity earrings the always earrings and the sweet love necklace um as always items are limited edition so if you like anything be sure to get your order in um then the butterfly necklaces are really coming in hot because they are such a beautiful piece and i believe that they're special to a lot of people and i'm really excited to be you know giving back um as well i'm trying to think of other organizations especially like animal shelters and things like that that i want to donate portions of the profit to in the future but yeah, that's a little mini yeah. spiel i am packaging your order shipping your orders of course everything's going on so i look forward to your order hopefully it can be something that you can look forward to and get in the mail be excited about so yeah i love you guys without further ado enjoy this video if you're new we need to recommend this video to you subscribe do it come on and then be sure to hit the post notification bell so that when i upload a new video you will see it it's gemini season that's why i'm talking fast i'm gonna use that excuse i love you let's hop on into it good morning guys so i'm going to for breakfast make some oatmeal usually i use this one which is the um, nature's path organic gluten-free old-fashioned no sugar added whole grain um, five protein gram serving it's organic and vegan it looks so similar to when I was at the grocery store I just grabbed this one assuming it was the same one because like these are on the lower like on the bottom shelf so like let's say all the shelf loaded on the last thing and so from from like afar it looked similar but these are I think there's they're also vegan but these are just um, these are organic too, but these are just instant ones, which is really interesting because I feel like these are in instant as well because these I make, how I make my oatmeal, I know everyone does a difference. Some people cook it in a pan, some people like boil it, some people just add, some people microwave it, whatever. I'm going to show you how I do it. So first of all, I'm going to add some, so, and, and I do it the same way for like these as I'm going to do it for this. So I don't know why the, the whole one minute thing, but so first I'm going to put this in, obviously this is not that much. I want more, so I'm going to open the other one. These are just more finely milled, it seems. The other ones are thicker. So I put a good amount in the bowl, like literally a good amount of oats. Then I'm gonna put my tea kettle on. I put my tea kettle on to 200 degrees of hot water while that while that goes. Okay. Fresh strawberries from the farmer's market that I need to use, so I'm going to try to use a good amount of these. As well as I have apricots from the farmer's market, so I'm gonna use two of those. I already washed these strawberries, so I'm just going to cut these up. And how I slice them is I just cut off the top like this, and then I cut them in half and then in half again so I make really like basically they're cut into four so very small slices I'm 
I'm gonna pour in probably like six seven around 70 to 80 percent water hot well, 200 degree water like that and then and then add your nut milk of choice i'm using the califia farms almond just almond milk unsweetened so i'm just gonna add like 20 percent of that and then i'm gonna stir it in i don't always use but i'm gonna add a little bit of honey just for today's bowl just to make it a little bit sweeter i just add one th one like tablespoon of organic raw unfiltered honey now i know that is a lot of sugar i don't always do this but just for today i'm going to blend it in and i mix it around so it kind of gets the flavor all in there then i'm going to put let me take this out really quick and put all the strawberries in there let's just take a tap just relax your mind and then I'm also gonna I'm gonna wash the two apricots I cut them obviously there's a bone in the middle so I just removed the bone but then yeah the bone is that the bone but I cut them also into four so I'll put those on top And then on top, I'm gonna to add chocolate covered chia seeds just as a little tr extra treat. And this is what I'm having for breakfast. So I just did a workout and walked memes. And for lunch, I'm gonna make my mega superfood smoothie. This is a very, very powerful smoothie recipe. And the main recipe is, or the full recipe is in my um, 21 day reset guide. It's a recipe that's been like perfected and literally has. The amount of minerals, vitamins, and nutrients in that smoothie is amazing. People drink the smoothie and immediately say, like after just drinking it, they immediately say that they feel such a difference. Oh. You guys were saying, or one of my people who followed in was on here or on Instagram, wherever, messaged me on Instagram and said that she knows a difference in energy right away. It is so powerful. Some of the things that it has in there, obviously I can tell you some of the things it has in there. It has like moringa in there, it has chia seeds, it has hemp seeds, it has chaga, it has so many powerful things in that smoothie recipe. So I'm basically gonna make that exact smoothie recipe. But today I'm gonna add two more things. I got this mix recently and this is Irish sea moss, bladder whack, and burdock root. Irish sea moss itself I believe has 110 of the 112 or 115 minerals that you need in a day. But some somewhere basically has like 90% or, or more of the minerals you need in for, need an entire day just in Irish sea moss. I also am going to add um, raw spirulina because I, I don't have any original recipe so I just, I just wanted to update anyone who either you've already bought in the guide just so in case you want to know what else I've been adding into it. This is raw spirulina. It only lasts a week and I got it last Sunday but I opened it Monday so I, I literally have a few days to finish all of this off before you know it goes bad so I'm going to add that in. Uh, but yeah I'm about to make this smoothie like I said I will link this. This is from Amazon. This I got in person. So if you have a local maybe farmer's market or a local kind of more wellness, holistic kind of shop or um, you have like, I don't know if, I don't think Whole Foods would carry, but maybe if you have an air on maybe something like, I would say it's like a local shop that carries supplements and stuff. Um, maybe like more of like a mom and pop shop may have this kind of more of a rare product. But if anything, you can use normal spirulina. Like spirulina comes in, um, actually I have an example of how it comes in. I bought it before. It usually comes in like something like this, like a powder. They're kind of like crystal, they're like, like a thicker milled powder. They're kind of like crystals, but basically like this or they, so it's kind of like, yeah, it's like a powder, but thick. It's like milled. It's almost like if tablets were milled or if it was just to be like dried and then milled and took up, you see, it's kind of thicker. Or it can come in tablets or you can take it as a supplement. Um, but it's really, really powerful as well. So I will link these two new additions, but I'm going to make that smoothie. Also, I, I do put protein powder. Um, this is the cost protein powder. Um, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm willing to obviously talk about some of the things that are in it. Um, it's a very, really, it's a plant-based, really, really clean protein powder. Another one I really like, I ran out of, it's by the brand Vivo. It's a protein powder and in the protein powder, it has, already has BCAAs for recovery. So if you work out um, or just are active and just want to make sure your muscles and everything are recovering quickly, that protein powder not only obviously has protein, but has BCAAs, but this cost one is also an amazing option. This is my second, um, Top of it and I just put it into this thing. This is a kind of glass jar just got from Home Goods. So yeah, if you have protein in it, so it is filling. It's not just like I mean, you know, any kind of smoothie is fine to make, you know. Smoothie is a very blanket term. You could just put together some fruit and some ice and call it a smoothie, right? But that's gonna be different than a smoothie that's packed with 
vitamins, protein, minerals, and nutrients. It's a completely different. One is more of like a nourishing meal almost, and one's more just kind of like a fruity beverage. So there's a difference, I think, I think between smooth between something that's a very all more substantial and nutrient dense and filled with more nutrients versus just uh, a light smoothie. So it's just something to keep in mind. So yeah, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna start by using a base. Um, I'm gonna and I, a base. I'm gonna use. Please, Calithia Farms unsweetened almond milk, and then I'm gonna put in all my ingredients, and I'll show you it at the end. Here is the final smoothie. These are the glasses I told you I ordered from Amazon. I'll link them. They're like, you can see they're, I don't know, it's not, this is a hexagon because it's way more sides. But you see it kind of, it's like, the, the cup inside is rounded, but then the outside edges, you know, there's, there's space before the bottom and then it's kind of like, why can't I think of the word? Like, it's, if I just, I'm going to be so annoyed if I can't get it right, but do you see, it, it kind of has like ridges. Basically on the bottom, it's like, shaped how many sides one two three four five six seven okay it's an octagon <laughs> yeah one two three four five six seven eight yeah so it's an octagon on the bottom and then it's kind of like ridge but then the ridge is smoothing out and then the top is circular and then these are the straw package that i got to i'll link the straw package down below but just in this smoothie the amount of superfood the amount of nutrients and minerals and vitamins is so powerful and so nourishing making a smoothie that's actually also has protein on top of all of that is just a really good way to get things in in your day you know of course eating a healthy diet and getting greens in and peppers and all these colors is amazing right but having a smoothie where you can literally just pour in things like chia seeds and hemp seeds and moringa and chaga and protein and many more things it's it's just like such a powerful way to get these incredibly nourishing and healing foods into your body. So I'm gonna have this. I have I think I have like about a half or a little bit more than a half more, basically around two, well, like a cup and a half, or basically like a cup like this. And then I think I might have like a half or a little bit over a half max, like up up to where this nail is. Like I'm gonna drink this whole thing and then I'm gonna pour the rest. And I think the rest is probably gonna go up to here. So that's about much you're gonna have for lunch. And like I said, it does have protein in it, two scoops of protein, so it is filling. So it's not like I'm just drinking something with you know that's not filling. So yep. Benishi wants to play. You wanna play, Miss Straw Bunny? Your soccer ball. For dinner's bowl, I'm starting off with a little bit of avocado oil, and then I put a whole box of chickpeas or a can of chickpeas whatever I like to get a box because I personally don't want to use a can opener every time I open them but obviously it's a personal preference so I use one box of chickpeas here the next thing I'm going to put in here is mushroom I'm going to use actually all of this mushroom I know this is a lot of mushroom but um, I got this a few days ago and I just want to make sure that it's fresh so I'm basically going to use a bunch of this portobello mushroom so many nutrients so much yum in here so I just want to make sure that you know I get all of that and I cut it into kind of, I would say, small to medium sized pieces. I know some people will make their bowls and like make all the pieces perfect. I I just kind of go for it. Next I'm going to put in a little bit of onion. This is the amount I'm going to use, about like a quarter, if not a little bit less than an onion. And I kind of just cut it like this. Again, this bowl takes like five to 15, five to 15 minutes to make, depending on how long you let certain things cook. Um, it's very yummy. The chickpeas provide a lot of protein. It's one of my favorite proteins to put in a bowl. Normally I would use, I am just going to be using half to be honest, but I don't think I'll be able to eat all of it. Um, but I'm going to put squash. And these you can mince up into small pieces or you can leave them circular. It's really up to you and like your personal preference. Mia's barking at me because she wants some attention. Next I'm going to put in some dinosaur kale and I just take it and I chop it. I kind of scrunch it all together and then I go for it like this. Like just making, kind of cutting like 
how they are usually in salad. They just crunch up a bunch of kale and then you cut it um, vertically. I'm gonna also add some mini peppers in. I love these mini peppers. They're a little bit, I would say, sweeter than like a normal large bell pepper. And yeah, I get them in like a little package like this at the grocery store. Normally I feel like they come in a pocket like this. I've, I haven't seen them ever just out like this, like small ones, but maybe in your grocery store they may have that. But if you look, go, make sure to look out for a baggie like this. And it comes with a lot of them. So if you buy that bag, like you could literally incorporate them, I would say into every, every single bowl, like literally the whole week, and maybe even your lunch and dinner bowl because there are so many and really three add a good amount of flavor, but I guess it depends on how many you put in. But you could easily incorporate these all week into your dinners just from one bag, you know, and it provides peppers that are not only so delicious, but also have so many nutrients in them. There's so many vitamins in them, and so I really love adding them to my bowl. We add some coconut amino. I'm gonna put in is turmeric. This is a really, it's really yummy, and it's a really good anti-inflammatory. Next, I put in a bit of red cayenne pepper. I like my things spicy, so but I would be careful about how much you put. I would start small and add more. Add a bit of cumin. Lastly, in terms of spices, I add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Turn up the heat, and I let it cook here for about five minutes, five to eight minutes. Stirring it around, you can put the lid on, it allows it to saturate a bit better. I like to cook it on high heat and allow it to kind of like get a little bit more crispy. Alright, so it cooked for about, I would say, a few minutes, like maybe like four or five, six ish minutes. I can just tell it's getting a bit crispy and cooked. So then I just grab a bowl, you can put it in like a bowl like this or like an actual, uh, or like a soup bowl. And I empty it out. And here we go. This lighting is like the best lighting, but I like to lean back at this angle. I remember that song? Lean back, lean back. But I hope you guys enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day and found it helpful. I love you guys so, so, so much. If you're new, do not forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the post notification, that little bell. So when I post, you'll be notified. You can come back. See you guys on my main Helena Barragova channel of other spirituality, wellness, and manifestation videos, as well as on my podcast, Instagram, and on my website for other resources, guides, and one-on-one -on -one work with me. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Let's connect.